All right, continuing with number three, we once again have a line reference question. So we don't need to have read the passage to be able to do this. We are able to go right to where they tell us and read just what they tell us. However, there is an important rule here that's going to make our lives easier. Whenever we have a line reference in the question, we should follow the plus one sentence rule. Meaning that we shouldn't just read 23 to 28. We should read a sentence before and a sentence after what we're told. Plus one before, plus one after. Because a lot of times the SAT kind of gives the answer away in those extra sentences. So if we look at this, it's kind of weird. This is a great example of a question where the, the actual text is kind of hard to, to make sense of. So whenever the old man visited, Nawab would place himself night and day at the door leading from the servant's sitting area into the wall grove of ancient banyan trees where the old farmhouse stood. Grizzled, his peculiar aviator glasses bent and smudged, Nawab tended the household machinery, the air conditioners, water heaters, refrigerators, and water pumps, like an engineer tending the boilers on a foundering steamer in an Atlantic gale. So he's, he's working. That's what I get. This engineering thing is weird, but he's working. By this superhuman effort, he almost managed to maintain K.K. Haruni in the same mechanical cocoon, cooled and bathed and lighted and fed that the landowner enjoyed in Lahore. So, there's the key phrase. Superhuman effort, he's maintaining K.K. Haruni. Superhuman effort. So, not only is he working, but he's working really hard. Superhuman. Now, let's look at the answer choices and see what matches with what we read. Choice A, suggests that Nawab often dreams of having a more exciting profession. No, they're not being literal here. He doesn't literally want to be an engineer in a gale. They're just using a metaphor. So he doesn't actually have that dream. But I'd also worry about the word often. This is one of those strong words that gives number to a choice, right? Often means frequently. But we don't have any indication of how often he even does this or thinks of himself this way. So... That is a problem word in and of itself, something to keep in mind. You're going to see this come up on a lot of SAT reading questions. So that gets rid of choice A. B, highlight the fact that Nawab's primary job is to tend to Haruni's tube wells. Well, first of all, it lists a bunch of things. So I don't know where this tube wells is being singled out. But also, just like the word often, the word primary is one of those kind of SAT strong words that I'd be really nervous about. Maybe it is his primary job, but I don't get that from the lines, from the evidence that I'm given. So I can't jump to the conclusion that this tube wells thing is the most important thing that he does. It seems like there's a bunch of things that he's in charge of. And so I don't want to jump to a conclusion and start ranking them. I don't have evidence of that in the passage. Gets rid of B. C, reinforce the idea that Nawab has had many different occupations in his life. Well, this isn't about his past, certainly not. This is about what he's doing right now. And it all, it, the other piece of this is those aren't different occupations. Those are the same occupation. He's working for this guy, Haruni, or however you pronounce his name. And so he's doing a lot of things for this guy, not multiple jobs over multiple years. This is what he does now for this one job that he has. So that's going to leave us with D, but as always, we should read it to make sure. Don't just pick D because it's the last thing left. Make sure. And in this case, it matches pretty clearly, uh, pretty, pretty closely with what we said. Em emphasize how demanding Nawab's work for Haruni is. So yeah, he's working as a superhuman to keep this guy Haruni comfortable. And so it's really demanding. We see this big list of things that he's doing. We get the fact that it's a, a, an intense effort that he's putting in. There's a lot of matches with what we're reading. We got Nawab's work. We know it's demanding. We know it's for Haruni. That, that's a lot of check marks with that choice. So this is a good example where the plus one sentence rule gives us a little extra that really confirms the choice that we may have picked anyway, but now we're really certain of. So always read plus one sentence before and after a line reference that they give you in the question.